everybody, we're back. Sorry it took a while for me to respond, but we're going to keep the games rolling with our Thanksgiving Day special. And we're going to play another game on the Super Nintendo, and that is Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. The answer is... Answer there. Oscar winner who wrote about his famous siblings in Wee Barrymore's... Alright, there's a lot of them, but I'm gonna say who was uh, Lionel Barrymore. Yeah, pick the right one. Uh, uh, Autobiography 300. The answer is... He called his book of Minnie the Moocher and Me. Liz buzzes in. Let's see if she has an answer. Cap Calloway. Yep. He's the one. At this point, Liz and I are tied for the lead, and Liz has control of the board now. Here we go. Sports 100. The answer is... All right, sports it is. Though no rule specifies it, every regulation ball for this sport has 108 double stitches. What is baseball... Okay, uh, I'll take sports for 200. We'll try it. The answer is... Seating over 205,000 fans, the world's largest soccer stadium is in this South American land. Okay, I have it between two of them. But I'm going to try what is Argentina. No, it's not Argentina. So there's only one other country it could be. Let's see if Jenny knows this one. It's in Brazil. That was my other guess. I was thinking it was either Argentina or Brazil. I just wasn't sure which one, but that's okay. We're going to move on. Greenland, 100. The answer is... This covers four-fifths of the land and is an average of one mile thick. What is ice? Ice baby. Uh, Greenland for 200. The answer is... Okay. Land on the north side of the island is named for this polar explorer who fathered a child there. Uh, this polar explorer? I'm just going to say who is, uh... Eric the Red. No. Jenny. Oh, Robert F. Perry. Okay. That's all right. Jenny takes the lead for right now, and she has control of the board. Last movies, 100. The answer is... Okay, let's see what we have here. Daniel Day-Lewis starred in this film based on James Fenimore Cooper's novel. What is The Last of the Mohicans? And I have seen that movie before many times. First time I ever saw 
lot was my junior year in high school in English 3 class. Uh-huh. Um, I'll stick with last movies for 2 factory. The answer is... In this film, Jack Nicholson and Otis Young try to show Randy Quaid a good time on his way to the brig. Ooh. We know it has the word last in it, but let's see if uh, Jenny knows this one. Oh, no, she does not. Let's see if Liz knows this one. The last detail. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've heard of that one or not. But that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go right on to the next clue. Sports 300. The answer is. Answer there. This man, not Babe Ruth, has hit the most home runs in Yankee Stadium. I have it between two. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try who's uh either Hank Aaron or Lou Gehrig. I'll stick with Hank Aaron. Not doing too good. Jimmy. Oh, it's Mickey Mantle, so it was neither one. It was Mickey Mantle. Liz and Jenny are tied for the lead right now. Let's see if we can turn that around. Autobiography is 400. The answer is. Okay. She called her autobiography Three Faces of Eve, not Our Miss Eve. Does Liz know this one? Eve Arden. Yep. We've got some tough clues here, but that's why it's called Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. That's okay. Yes, City's 100. The answer is... This category should be easier. Let's find out. This capital of South Carolina was built to placate those who fell Charles II too far south. I know this one. What is Columbia? Columbia, South Carolina. There we go. Out of the hole. Uh, you said these are 200. The answer is... Alright, let's try that clue. The cost of its office space is only a third down of Tokyo, but it's still the highest in the U.S. What is New York? New York City? Try it and see what we get. Uh-huh. Uh, let's have U.S. City's 300, please. The answer is... The answer there. The Bowling Red Barn, where the company started, forms the core of this city's Museum of Flight. Jenny. So many options, but... Oh, Jenny doesn't know. I'm just going to say what is, um, between two, I have it between a lot of them, but I'm just going to pick one out of the blue and pick St. Louis, no, not St. Louis, well let's see if Liz knows this one. Nope, everybody missed on that one. The city was Seattle. Oh, okay. USA is 400. The answer is... Okay. This city's polluted Cuyahoga River caught fire in 1969, but it has been cleaned up since then. Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga. Where is that river located? Oh, it's located in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Once again, Jenny and Liz are tied for the lead. Keep going. U.S. City's 500. The answer is... Missouri town of 11,000 where you find Westminster College and a Winston Churchill Memorial. What is independence? Fulton, Missouri. 
Missouri. Oh. We need to turn this around. I'm not doing too good. Pennsylvania, 100. The answer is... Will I do better here? Let's find out. In the 19th century, towns like York and Gettysburg were stations on this railroad. What is the Underground Railroad? Yeah, I need to turn this around and fast. Because I'm usually not that bad at this game, but we're just getting some tough clues and they're just not in my favor, that's all. Here we go. Uh, you said it's for 200, please. Or, no, Pennsylvania 200. The answer is... My bad. Shunning modern means of transport, Pennsylvania Dutch people pull drive wagons pulled by these. Uh, what are horses? There we go. Pennsylvania for 300, please. The answer is... South Williamsport hosts the World Series of this group every August. What is the Little League? Out of the hole. Pennsylvania 400. The answer is... In 1692, this royal couple removed William Penn as governor of Pennsylvania. Who are William and Mary? Is it William and Mary? Yes, it is. Now I have some money again. Pennsylvania for 500. The answer is... Answer there. Pennsylvania produces almost all of America's supply with this kind of coal. What is anthracite? Ran the category, and I'm in second place. I'll take autobiographies for 500. The answer is... All right. Character actor whose autobiography is Iron Eyes. Ooh. Iron Eyes Cody, yep. Alright, last movie's 300. The answer is... Nope. Spencer Tracy was an old pole in his final campaign in this film based on Boston Mayor Curley. Oh, Jenny doesn't know. Too bad. Does Liz know this one? El Falso. No, she does not. It's the last hurrah. The last hurrah. All right. We're going to stick with last movies. All right. The answer is... Answer there. In a Neil Simon play movie, Alan Arkin was the last of this kind of lovers. What is Red Hot? There we go. Uh, last movie for 500, please. The answer is... The film story of the farewell concert of the group called The Band. It's the last waltz. Alright. We have five clues left and the Daily Double has not been uh, selected yet. It's still hiding up there somewhere. Is it under Sports for 400? Jenny's going to make it a true daily double, so here is her clue. Last name of some basketball coaches, Dale, Hubie, and Larry, and she doesn't know. It's brown. So Jenny loses all her cash, and we have four clues left. 
Finishing out sports, 500. The answer is... Baseball expansion team in Miami named after a popular billfish. Alright, so it's not the, um, it's not the Dolphins, because that's, um, football. So I'm going to say we're the Marlins. Yep, the Florida Marlins, yep. Grayland 300. The answer is... Around 985 AD, this Viking brought a group of settlers to the island. Now's the time for who is Eric the Red. Uh, 400. The answer is... A 1951 treaty gave this alliance a major defense in the role of Greenland. The answer is... In 1536, Greenland was rediscovered by Martin Frobisher, who was looking, was out looking for this. Oh, the Northwest Passage, yep. So Jenny has $900 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Liz has 800 and me, 1700 <laughs> Here are the categories. For Double Jeopardy, we have hodgepodge, forests, Shakespeare, clothing, women in history, and we're going to close it out with languages. All right. Languages, 200. The answer is... The English translation of the Esperanto word blue verdo. What is bluebird? Uh, language is 400. The answer is... Baltar in Sanskrit, Meter in Greek, and Mutter in German. What is mother? Alright, um, 600 plates, same category. The answer is... Term for a language that is no longer spoken. What is dead? The answer is... English and Africans are the two official languages of this country. Uh, what is South Africa? Let's close it out. The answer is... Answer is. And the answer there is. Some dictionaries say the name of this short coat came from the French for Jacob. What's a jacket? Call it 400. The answer is. From old English brock or leg coverings, you might be too big for yours. What are fridges? Uh, I'll take uh, clothing for 600. 
The answer is... Send in flag for a tuxedo. What is a monkey suit? is it's an extension of the collar folded over against the breast what is a lapel twelve thousand eight hundred dollars i'll take forest for two hundred the answer is this forest near nottingham england is famous as the home of robin hood what is Sherwood Forest? Forest 400. The answer is... About 90% of all U.S. forest fires are caused by humans. Most of the rest are caused by this. The answer is... Hairy adjective describing sheep and mammoths. What is woolly? The answer is... Susan B. Anthony was raised in this religion. The answer is... The U.S. Forest Service was established in 1905 as part of this cabinet department. What is commerce? Or is it interior? I'll say commerce. No. The answer is... For his last words were lay on Macduff, and damned be him that first prize hold enough. Who is Macbeth? Uh, Shakespeare for 400. The answer is... One of his most famous lines is, but soft what light through yonder window breaks. Who is Romeo?
Uh, Shakespeare for 600. The answer is... Hamlet said of him, he was a man, take it for all in all, I shall not look upon his life again. Who is his father? Uh, let's take Shakespeare for 800. The answer is... In the title of the play, Pericles was prince of this Phoenician city. What is Tyre? Yeah. Uh, let's have uh, Shakespeare for 1,000, please. The answer is... This play features periods named Iris, Ceres, Juno, and Ariel. What is the Tempest? The answer oh. is... Oh, well. Name for an English chemist who, had, who hadn't studied it, Daltonism is better known as this. <laughs> Colorblindness. <laughs> Force of thousand, that's where I meant The answer that. is... Turn for the boundary on mountains beyond which trees do not grow. The timber line. Hodgepodge 600. The answer is... The science of calculating the position of a ship and directing its course. Navigation. The answer is... For her service in this war, Pennsylvania awarded Molly Pitcher a $40 a year pension. What was the Civil War? No, the other one. The Revolutionary War. The answer is... Legend says Zilinchi, the wife of the Chinese Emperor Wang Di, discovered this fiber. What is silk? I'm going to take hodgepodge for 800. Let's get that out of the way. The answer is... New York City landmark was bombed in 1993. What is the World Trade Center? The answer is... Though a lawyer herself, she fought against equal rights for women, for working women, and founded Stop ERA. <laughs> Phyllis Schleifley, all right. The answer is... You've heard of a nine-day wonder. Well, she was named the Nine Days Queen. Who is, um, hmm. I think it's Mary Queen of Scots. That's the only one that's coming to mind. No, but that's wrong. It was Lady J. 
Jean Grey. Oh, okay. Now the last clue. The answer is... Visiting her birthplace at 10 East Oglethorpe in Savannah, Georgia won't get you a merit badge. Who is Juliet Lowe? So I have sixteen thousand two hundred dollars. Jenny thirty one hundred. Liz twenty four hundred. Gave it to me? 